it now then. So we went to set up position. Previously, you had the ball on that, oh, hang on. You had that ball on the green line, so it was too far back. You can see here now what you've got. We've got your head behind the golf ball and your hands sort of on top of the golf ball, okay? So you're making a little bit of a, a straight line here down there nicely. This shoulder now is a lot more tilted than it was before. Yeah, your right side's much more underneath. Mm -hmm. The way we get there is to say, let, and it's again, not gonna be the same sequence you'll stick with. You might do, but you won't need to because you'll just start feeling this setup and knowing what it feels like. So it just become the natural thing you do anyway. But some guys stick with their routine. Once they've got into that sort of sequence and routine, it's yeah. just stuck with them forever. So left hand on the club first, get the lead arm, left arm, hands and club all in the line. Slide that right hand down the leg a little bit and then bring it into the side, yeah? Do you have the, that, with the club, with the yeah. ball? Yeah, That's pretty much all a straight line. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, yeah, yeah. I mean, what will happen with an iron in iron would be kind of a slight angle back because obviously your hands are slightly forward but nothing's really going to change we still want that nice lead arm there in an extended line over the ball this arm is down this way aiming well over there a lot of people tend to have their sort of y-shaped sensation where the club is in the middle and their arms are both equally sided okay, okay. with a goal so we do tilt to our right side that's yeah. like chopping a tree you wouldn't stand a tree straight on you yeah. can tilt it to give it right. give it the bend. so we want to get in that position there okay now in terms of the back swing okay Look how much further your back swing is now. You've actually got your shoulders turning 65, 70 degrees. And the, the, and the club's gone behind your head. Whereas the first thing we saw, which for some reason on camera, your shoulders were about there. <laughs> you just didn't turn them at all. But that's partly because your right hip was sort of sticking out and it couldn't kind of go back behind you. When I moved, you said, right, really tilt this way. You were like, and I turned you around, you had never been there before. <laughs> now, yeah, there is a point we don't want to go too far just because of comfort. But if you can get to there, as you proved on many of these shots a day, you can do, you're storing up more energy for that club to come back to the golf ball. Mm -hmm. So therefore hit the ball further without as much effort from you. Okay. Then as you're coming back in the golf ball here now, head staying behind the ball nicely. Good strike. Your hands in the arm, you can see we're returning back to where they started at a good impact position. Ball then shooting off the club face and then right the way through. Now again, in time, probably more in the second lesson, we'll look at changing that follow through to get a little bit more kind of twist and movement through with the lower half. But again, even with that swing, I think that was the one that went at 170 or whatever, 172. We didn't get the 194 shot, unfortunately, but if you could see how well it could be hit if you if get you, in the right position. If I followed through better, would it go further? Yes, potentially, yeah. Because, the thing is, if you're stopping yeah. the club here, you're slowing the club down from here to here. Think of a car crossing a line. Okay, yeah, if a car crosses a finish line at 100 mile an hour, yeah. it will go further than the car crossing at 150. Yeah. Okay, you've got really good brakes. And if you're braking and stopping the club that quick after, you're going to be tensing things up to do so. so you're, you're going to be losing power, yeah. You're losing power down by there. Well, yeah, exactly. The, the, the fact your club stopped here and not maybe potentially over here means around here that gold club's slowing down, which is where we want the most speed possible. Okay, right. if you're stopping at impact so that the club does finish there, and if you were putting your maximum speed momentum, would just fling that club over your shoulder. The fact you are stopping there, one of two things, if not both, is happening. One, you're gripping on for dear life at the moment of impact and going and stiffening up, that's, or that's you're slowing I, the swing down to try and guide it. That's why I feel like doing it as if I stop it about exactly. there. Exactly, and I think a lot of people get this sort of sensation <coughs> once the club bed has made contact here, the swing's kind of over with. <laughs> The ball's gone. Once I'm at impact, it's done. Nothing more to do now. But you look at all the tall players, that club is shoo, over their shoulder, swinging through. Because just you just let that momentum happen. If that yeah. club is swinging, I mean, your club has been, your ball speed on that one is 110 mile an hour. Your top line got to about 115. That means your club head speed somewhere in the region of 75 mile an hour. Okay. To stop your club head from here at 75 mile an hour, probably six foot after impact takes a lot of kind of yeah. gripping on okay so you have to be slowing that swing down more so to do that which means if you weren't slowing it down your club head speed would incrementally increase because the more speed you've got down there the further that would go it just would go further you wouldn't have to try yeah. and stop i think it's potentially gripping on tight hey when it's going wrong we just get desperate just do anything that, and just grip on for dear life that's something i've never understood i'm thinking the follow-through what's the problem you know I don't understand the follow through because yeah. the ball's gone. Yeah. It's Look, not as if you're adding anything exactly. extra. If, 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 well, that but now you've explained well, I think I always, slowing down. Well, look, if, if, if you say ball around 100 metres and had to stop on the line when he finished, how fast would the last five metres be? Yeah. <laughs> you've got to keep going through the line, haven't you? Yeah. So the impact is kind of the finish line of the, of the, of the shot. 
but not the finish of the swing. That yeah. club's going to be going through and over the shoulders with some momentum. If you're stopping so you can stop just after the finish line, you've had to slow down beforehand mm. to stop it there. So the fact the swing is shorter means you've got to be slowing it down a little bit. Or creating some tension, which is possibly more likely, which again, both of which are not really good for you for getting any distance and control anyway. So, mm. so yeah, allow that shoulder to tilt and drop down. If we can get into that more tilted position, that's the key thing there. Get those shoulders there. Just for your left shoulder, if you had a, <coughs> some water on your left shoulder, it would drop mm. down to your right shoulder. And you're getting both arms here now in that kind yeah, of tilted that's triangle. Why, that's why I got it get used to I would just say you use a like mirror or reflection against the wall there and for two minutes a day literally mm. stand there in your golf posture with your left hand so you're leaning <coughs> over to where the ball would be don't stand it perfectly mm. straight lean forward get your left hand on and then go slide down your right leg boom to the, the best ground. to bend the legs up. a little bit but your legs are bent anyway yeah you got your legs are flexed I mean I wouldn't say bend. when you say bend your knees that tend someone says oh stand there and bend your knees most people sort of do that I just say just flex the knees just, oh, they're yeah. just soft that's, right, that's what I meant tall people like we are we don't want to be bending the knees to get down to it. The more you bend your knees, the more your spine's going to come back because your weight would go back. If you someone does a deep squat, the weight goes more to the heel, doesn't it? And the more on the heels you get, the worse it's going to be. So, yeah. No, yeah. And again, a lot of these things I wouldn't need to worry about, really. For me, the main and the only focus is that spine. Uh, yeah. So, And this comes back to what we said at the start. People keep telling you different things. Like bend your knees, they'll just try and just shout as much advice your way yeah. in hope that something sticks. <laughs> and if something does stick, you go, well, hang on, which one of those 55 things I just, I just did my best shot in my life? Well, what did I just do? <laughs> yeah. Leave it a really good shot here now. We know, okay, it's because I got that shoulder turn correctly. Yeah. I got in a good position to enable me to create a bigger backswing. And that's a much bigger backswing from what the start of the lesson. I mean, your club was barely getting past sort of here. And your shoulders were kind of more... <laughs> in that angle, not yeah. over there. So you're making more of a turn. Without having to study, I've not made you more flexible. <laughs> I was no. trying to do half an hour yoga I think, session. I think, I think that's impossible to make. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I don't see any reasons why not. This is probably still within your comfort zone. So if we can just push that a little bit. I reckon maybe we say next lesson, a couple of weeks time or whatever. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see if that club, should we say, if your hands are up there, that club's pointing at say, I know, half one. I wouldn't be at all surprised if that lead arm eventually when the next thing gets up here and the club's going over there somewhere. Because mm. you're just, the more you start turning this as you play golf, the more flexible you're going to get to do that. So every golf swing is going to be kind of like a stretch to do it. So. Oh, brilliant. Makes sense? Yes, it does. Good it man. Sense, Very good.